Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 Words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Turkish ebook before it's gone. Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at turkishclass101.com. Hey guys, I'm Seda. Welcome to turkishclass101.com. Today we'll talk about shopping tips and phrases. You know, it, you may be a tourist in Turkey or you may think to live in Turkey, so you want to know what's going on here, what are the terminologies, how we shop. So I'll give you some tips and some you know, sample examples. Some sample examples? What is that? <laughs> some samples of shopping sentences, let me put it that way. So, let's start. First of all, you can use credit card most of the place, places, but uh, watch out the mass, uh, American Express card, so it's, you may not use it everywhere, but MasterCard and Visa card, uh, they are very, very uh, widely used, so you'll be okay with that. And uh, in touristic places, you may use euros, dollars, and things like that, but in you know, regular neighborhoods, Nobody will, uh, you know, nobody can take the uh, foreign uh, money. So make sure that you change the money to Turkish liras. That's what we use, Turkish liras. And the uh, rates are always changing. So check it out, even daily changing. So check the rates and get some local money. Okay? So about shopping. We have shopping malls and shopping malls are... I think most the same everywhere. We have some open shopping malls, you know, regular clothes shopping malls, and in shopping malls there are the, the brands that everybody knows, and some Turkish brands and some, uh, you know, brands that like. Let me not give you a brand name. <laughs> I was going to say, but that's a place that everybody knows. So there's nothing to say there. I think in shopping malls, in every shop, you can use credit card, so you'll be okay. And uh, if you want to use cash, you can also use cash. But it's nothing to add there, nothing to give, you know, Turkish information about there. But uh, in neighborhoods, for example, me, I, I don't shop uh, in shopping malls a lot. We have our neighborhood, neighborhoods where we live. Uh, generally basic things we buy from our neighborhood. For example, we have kasaps, the butchers. Every neighborhood generally has their own kasaps and people uh, know their kasaps, uh, butchers. And you know, it's a nice thing to do that you go to butcher, they know you, they know what kind of meat and things you like. They even you can call and they can send send it home and it's like a it's not just shopping but it's a relationship so at least I try to keep that and with these kind of things a lot of uh, Turkish homes do that I know that uh, we don't go to big malls and things like that to get our daily needs and another thing another thing we have in our neighborhoods is bakkals bakkal is like a um, small shop that uh, sells bread, I don't know, like daily, those kind of uh, daily food and, you know, the cigarettes and papers, newspapers, magazines, things like that. Uh, in every neighborhood, there's at least one bakkal. So if you need something, chips, things like that, candies, chocolates, you can go to bakkal and buy them. You don't need to go to a big market. But we also have those big markets, uh, Carrefour and Migros are the, I think, the biggest ones that you can find everywhere in Turkey. So let me check. Oh, we have Fırın. Fırın is bakery. It's very important for us because uh, we, we like to get our uh, fresh bread, especially during Ramadan. We have uh, some kind of um, bread. It's, it's like pita, pita bread, but not like pita bread. It's a bread. It's soft and uh, very delicious. It's uh, like this round, pide we call it, and during Ramadan friends are making pides and people actually, uh, before the uh, sun goes down, everybody try, because they freshly bake it, uh, everybody uh, wait for their turn to get their pides, 
you may uh, see long lines outside firms during Ramadans to get freshly baked yummy yummy yummy pide. So we have those and we have um, dukkans that we call dukkan is a shop. We have different kind of dukkans in you. We have streets and we have little shops. Uh, in, for example, in Istanbul, in Kadıköy, in Bağdat Caddesi, in a lot of places. Even if you go to, you know, two blocks away, you'll find a street with a lot of shops on it. You can find electrician. I don't know, communicate the telecommunication shop or the bakery. This and that. And this is like an open mall, but it's not a mall. It's a street. So you can see those kind of dukkans. And generally, they are very. Uh, cheap, cheaper than the malls, so people tend to uh, shop from there. Let me check. Oh, I remember talking about this in another video. I don't remember which one, but we have pazars. Pazar? Ah, I was talking about it when I was talking about dates. Pazar normally means Sunday, pazar. But pazar also means these uh, local farmers markets. So in each district, they have their own uh, day. For example, Tuesday here, Wednesday here, Saturday here. We have pazar here in Tuesdays. And in those pazars, they are, they are even sell clothes, shoes, things like that. And especially, you can find fresh vegetables and uh, fruits. And they are generally fresher and cheaper, so people tend to go to pazars do their uh, shopping and come back. In my old apartment, uh, Pazar was uh, setting up uh, just one uh, street from my house, so it was really uh, easy for me. So I was just, you know, we, we have Pazar Arabası. Uh, if I can find a picture, I will put here, here somewhere. Uh, Pazar Arabası, so you get your Pazar Arabası, the cartwheel, I don't know, something like that, and you do your shopping and you come back, it's like, five minutes to your house, it's really easy, fresh and cheap. I like it, but where I live now, there's no pazar close to me. I'm very sad. So, I shop online, doesn't feel the same. Anyway, you can do that as well with the big markets, especially you can shop online, they bring your uh, stuff home, everything you can uh, bring it home, especially during these corona times. But also with your local shops, as I told you before, you can call your friend, bakkal, or uh, kasap and you can order something and they will bring it home that's good okay so let's talk about some questions uh, how can you use them and end this lesson <laughs> okay for example buralarda eczane var mı? is there a pharmacy around here? buralarda eczane var mı? Buralarda eczane var mı? I forgot to talk about this, but in every neighborhood we have pharmacies and you won't have a problem finding a pharmacy. So, for example, you want to ask where is the nearest shopping mall? En yakın alışveriş merkezi nerede? En yakın alışveriş merkezi nerede? En yakın means the nearest. En yakın alışveriş merkezi nerede? Hmm. And we have yapı market, hardware stores. We have big hardware stores, brand, uh, big brands. But as I uh, told you before, we have those little shops, dükkans. You can find small dükkans. And in those dükkans, some of them are selling hardware stuff. So, let me see the sentence. Uh, do you know where is the nearest hardware Hardware store, en yakın yapı market nerede biliyor musunuz? En yakın yapı market nerede biliyor musunuz? Bilmiyorum. <gülüyor> they may say bilmiyorum. But it's very hard to see a Turkish person saying bilmiyorum. They are like, mm, let me see. Just turn around the mask. Every, every direction starts with that. I don't know why. Turn around the mask. And get lost. <laughs> okay, if you want to ask what time do you open or close today, you would say, Bugün kaçta açıyorsunuz? 
What time do you open today? Bugün kaçta açıyorsunuz? Bugün kaçta açıyorsunuz? Or if you want to ask what time do you close today? Bugün kaçta kapıyorsunuz? Bugün kaçta kapıyorsunuz? Bugün kaçta kapıyorsunuz? Ooh, and now you are asking about the price. How much is it? That's the basic question, right? How much is it? Bu ne kadar? Bu ne kadar? Bu ne kadar? And the guy said, blah, blah, blah. <gasps> Ooh, çok pahalı. Çok pahalı. Very expensive. Çok pahalı. Çok pahalı. Okay, you want to say, can you, you know, uh, would you make some discount? You would say, biraz indirim yapar mısınız? Biraz indirim yapar mısınız? Biraz indirim yapar mısınız? They would do it. The shopping, the stores at shopping malls, they don't do uh, those kind of bargains. They, they have their own, you know, 10% discount, 50% discount. But in small shops, you can bargain. So, let's say you want to say, make it, if you make it 50, I'll buy. 50 yaparsan, alırım. 50 yaparsan, alırım. Here, I don't say 50 lira. You can say 50 lira, 50 Türk lirası. We don't use Türk liras because we are already living in Turkey. But 50 yaparsan, meaning if you make it 50, I'll buy it. 50 yaparsan, alırım. So, this I wanted to add, for example, if you go to a uh, grocery store, you want to, we use kilogram uh, for uh, fruits and vegetables, so I want to show you how to order uh, veggies and fruits, so let's say I want a half a kilo tomato, two kilos of onions, 500 gram or yarım kilo, yarım kilo, half a kilo, 500 gram, 500 grams, same thing, different way of saying it. Yarım kilo domates ve 2 kilo soğan istiyorum. Yarım kilo domates, 2 kilo soğan istiyorum. Yarım kilo domates, 2 kilo soğan istiyorum. So, you get it and you want to learn about the price and you say, ne kadar etti? How much did it cost? Ne kadar etti? Ne kadar etti? And as I said before, for example, if you go to a shopping mall, they have their own discount. So, let's say there is 10% sales in jail. Jeans, jeans. There is 10% sale in jeans. Kot pantolonlarda yüzde on indirim var. Kot pantolonlarda yüzde on indirim var. Fifty percent yüzde elli. In English you first say the number, then percent. In Turkish we first say the percent, yüzde, then the number. Yüzde on, yüzde yirmi, yüzde 30, yüzde 40, things like that. Okay? I hope this helped you guys. I don't know if you have questions, ask them in the comments below. And what do you like about shopping in Turkey if you already did and what you didn't like? Leave some comments below. I will see you next time. Bye! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary 
followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Rezervasyonunuz var mıydı? Evet. İsmim Ahmet Tan. Ayakkabı fuarı için gelmiştim. Tamam. Nüfus cüzdanınızı alabilir miyim? Buyurun. Teşekkürler Ahmet Bey. Oda numaranız 202, ikinci kat. Asansör kullanabilirsiniz. Teşekkürler. Fuar nerede acaba? Fuar zemin katta. Ayrıca toplantı odamız da beşinci katta. Now you hear the key vocabulary. Followed by the English translation. Reservation. Reservation. Booking. Reservation. Reservation. Ayakkabı. Shoe. A ya ka b. Ayakkabı. Nüfus cüzdanı. Identity card. Nüfus cüzdanı. Nüfus cüzdanı. Bey. Mister. Bey. Bey. İkinci. Second. İkinci. İkinci. Kat. Floor. Kat. Kat. Asansör. Elevator. Asansör. Asansör. Kullanmak. Use. Kullanmak. Kullanmak. Zemin. Ground. Zemin. Zemin. Toplantı. Meeting. Top. Toplantı. Toplantı. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Rezervasyonunuz var mıydı? Evet. İsmim Ahmet Tan. Ayakkabı fuarı için gelmiştim. Tamam. Nüfus cüzdanınızı alabilir miyim? Buyurun. Teşekkürler Ahmet Bey. Oda numaranız 202, ikinci kat. Asansörü kullanabilirsiniz. Teşekkürler. Fuar nerede acaba? Fuar zemin katta. Ayrıca toplantı odamız da beşinci katta. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at turkishclass101.com. Herkese merhaba. Welcome to Turkish Class 101.com. Ben Seda. Nasılsınız? Her şey yol, her şey yolunda mı? <gülüyor> okay, today we will talk about top ten fast food in Turkey. Okay, I have other videos where I talk about Turkish food. You can check it out uh, in the channel. But before I start with the content, I need to explain something. Um, Turkish cuisine is pretty pretty rich. And we have so many variety of food when it, you know, comes to food choices, and from vegan to vegetarian, from fast and to slow cooked meals, and this is not because of the modern food trends. Where, for example, in the U.S., you see different types of diets and restaurants aligned with these diet culture. But uh, it's not like that in Turkey. This is our normal. We normally have a variety of food. You wouldn't see fast food stores like vegetarian stores, things like that. But you'll definitely find any type of food you prefer. Of course, foreign brands like McDonald's, Pizza Hut, blah, blah, blah, are also available in Turkey. But I'm strictly talking about Turkish food here. And also in big cities, there are all kinds of restaurants like the, uh, but the food I will be talking about will be the ones you can find everywhere in Turkey, even in small villages. Okay, enough with the intro. Let's get started. Okay. Uh, okay. One more thing. Um, you may be surprised not to see certain types of food in the lists. 
uh, for example, Don Hash, uh, because I talk about those in top 10 street foods. So street foods are fundamentally fast food. So I didn't want to repeat myself. So I choose different foods and you can check the other video for the street foods. Okay. Okay. The first one in our list is köfte ekmek. Köfte ekmek. Köfte, uh, it's a meatball and Turkish cuisine has a uh, rich variety of meatballs. Uh, but there's one type, we call it tükürük köftesi. Tükürük köftesi. I will translate this, don't get shocked. It is a spit, saliva meatball. <laughs> it's an urban legend that the chef, which is generally a guy with it, uh, outside the street with a grill stand, Spits his hands to be quick with making the meatballs. <laughs> That's not the case, of course, hopefully. I hope so. <laughs> Somehow, those outside grilled meatballs are always the most delicious ones. This is a street flavor that creates long queues uh, with, you know, smell rising from the grill uh, in front of the stadium after a, you know, football match or the exit of a concert, something like that. I remember, um, we had a stand across my school when I was like eight, nine, and sometimes we would go out and buy it for lunch. Oh my God, that was so tasty, the best meatball ever. So basically this is a grilled meatball inside a fresh Turkish bread and some greens and onions in it. You should definitely try if you see one. Okay, the number two is ıslak burger. Islak burger. This you can translate as wet burger. Uh, it is like a regular burger, but they dip the crispy buns in some kind of garlicky tomato sauce, so it's wet. And it is served to you like hot and dripping. <laughs> it drips, literally. And they sell this in buffet type of restaurants, like buffet restaurants. And this buffet types of restaurants generally very small and always sell fast food you can grab your food and go or just sit outside on a small table or a high chair anyway uh, the most famous slack burger uh, is in Taksim region of Istanbul you should try if you go to Taksim okay number three three is durum durum is like a Turkish wrap or burrito. It can be vegan it, or meat wrap, uh, chicken, lamb, beef served in inside the durum. And sometimes you can find çiğ köfte durum as well. And they put the main ingredient and then uh, some greens and onions and lavash bread. Uh, lavash bread is very thin flat bread and durum is very common fast food that you can find in Anywhere, literally. Anyway, the number four is lahmacun. Lahmacun. You can say this is a Turkish pizza. Although they make the vegan, vegan version of lahmacun, the real deal is with the red minced meat. The very name of lahmacun is coming from Arabic, meaning a dough mixed with meat. So you get the picture. Anyway, this dish is very thin, flat and crispy. It's quickly made and served with lemons, some greens and onions and sometimes tomatoes. And I notice we add onions everywhere. <laughs> Anyhow, you add the greens and tomatoes and squeeze the lemon on and you roll it like a, a wrap like this, then eat it like a burrito with your hands like, like that. So you got to try that on your next trip to Turkey. Okay, number five. Five is menemen. Menemen is an egg dish, is an egg dish actually, and generally a breakfast item, but it also eaten as a quick lunch dish. It is basically a scrambled eggs cooked softly with onions, peppers, paprika, and some herbs. And generally most restaurants have menemen on their menu, so it is fast and you know tasty dish. The number six is pide. This is also kind of a 
pizza we can say it's a turkish patty and it's made like patties from a well netted dough and it can have a different ingredient in the middle it can be with cheese with meat with cheese and meat with pasta mat, beef bacon and so on and all the kebab restaurants have this dish kebabchi you should try today is one of the best and number seven seven really seven is meze this one is different than all the others because it's not like one dish meze is the name of a dish type meze is like uh, appetizers especially when you drink raku you order a lot of meze before the main dish or in their fish restaurants and meze has so many varieties and they are pre-cooked cold dish generally cold so they are fast you just you can just eat them without ordering anything you don't feel heavy on your stomach so you can ask for more than one serving of this dish without thinking much and it's very healthy from veg vegan to fish based mezes you'll have a variety of options and the h1 is chorba chorba soup this is basically soup i know it doesn't sound like fast food but it's the fast food for us uh, this is very basic but a very common Turkish fast food, as I said. Every restaurant has a dill soup in their menu. Generally, one of these. Uh, the ezogelin, mercimek, domates. Ezogelin is a mix with lentil and uh, bulgur, and domates soup is like tomato soup, and mercimek is like lentil. And they are generally very cheap, very healthy, and very fast. And we have so many other varieties and Turkish people, I think, love their soup. You should de definitely try either, you know, any type of soup you will be perfect. We even have soup restaurants, just soups. Okay, the next one is gözleme. Gözleme is a fast food which is similar to a crepe. It's a flat bread that is filled with cheese, meat, you know, potatoes, some vegetables inside. Uh, it's cooked on gözleme sacı, something like a waffle plate, but it's big and actually very fun to watch it uh, when it's getting cooked. In some places, you see women on the floor opening the dough and cooking gözleme on that plate. Anyhow, the last one, the tenth one, is piliç çevirme. Piliç çevirme. This is basically a rotisserie chicken. Uh, you can buy the whole chicken cooked. It doesn't even have to be a restaurant. Sometimes the butchers sell it cooked, you know. <laughs> they have special ovens for the chicken with long sticks and they put the chickens on the sticks and slowly cook it. Cook it and you see a lot of chickens side by side and you just order one and uh, they wrap the whole chicken or half the chicken or less than half, I don't know how much you want and uh, then they wrap it and you take the chicken home and you eat it or you take the chicken with you and you eat it it's slowly cooked this rotisserie chickens are slowly cooked but since they have a lot of slowly cooked ready to take chickens on the uh special ovens it is a fast food but it's healthy okay this was our 10 top top 10 list and i don't know if you tried one of these what did you think about these or which one would you like to try leave some comments and i will see you next time want to speed up your language learning take your very first lesson with us you'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations sign up for your free lifetime account just click the link in the description Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. 
And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Yağmur mu yağıyor? Yok, sadece çiseliyor. Hava nemli ve rüzgarlı. Fırtına bekleniyormuş. Evet, öğleden sonra. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Yağmur. Rain. Yağmur. Yağmur. Yağmak. To rain. Yağmak. Yağmak. Çiselemek. To drizzle. Çi. Se. Le. Mek. Çiselemek. Hava. Weather. Ha. Va. Hava. Nemli. Humid. Nem. Li. Nemli. Rüzgarlı. Windy. Rüzgarlı. Rüzgarlı. Fırtına. Storm. Fırtına. Fırtına. Beklemek. To wait. Beklemek. Beklemek. Öğleden sonra. Afternoon. Öğleden sonra. Öğleden sonra. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Yağmur mu yağıyor? Yok, sadece çiseliyor. Hava nemli ve rüzgarlı. Fırtına bekleniyormuş. Evet, öğleden sonra. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at TurkishClass101.com. Hello! Merhaba! I'm Seda. Ben Seda. Welcome to TurkishClass101.com. Today we'll talk about how to greet people in Turkish. So the highs and hellos are the basics, the most basic stuff in any language. And there are some nuances to learn to sound more like natives. And today we'll talk about those small nuances as well. So I'll give you a lot of tips. The first one, the basic one, is Merhaba. Merhaba. Hello. Merhaba. The thing is, Turkish, the modern Turkish is coming from Old Turkish, the Ottoman Turkish, which is a, a mixture of Turkish, Persian, and Arabic and some words we have from Arabic and Merhaba is one of them. In Arabic it means uh, hello again. The word is Marhaban. I think I'm not sure if I'm saying it <laughs> right in Arabic and it means uh, the, the root of this word means to widen, to have a relief and to say Merhaba actually means that I wish you, uh, you know, relief, I wish you wellness. So it's come from that word, <sighs> whiteness, that deep breath. So <laughs> next time you say merhaba, think about that and send your good thoughts to other person. The other thing about merhaba, uh, sometimes we use it as merhabalar, merhabalar. It's something like hellos or highs. Uh, you say it uh, if you see more than one person. Uh, you say hey, hellos, hellos to you. It's something like that. It's okay if you say just merhaba, but generally we say merhaba, hi to you all. It's like that. And another thing, another trick about merhaba, uh, generally, in our daily languages, we don't focus on that H word uh, that much. Uh, Turkish language is not from the throat, 
we don't speak from the throat as in Arabic or Hebrew uh, or you know uh, languages like that so we generally just smoothly say or don't say <laughs> in the word uh, the sound uh, of we don't make that sound H so mad haba is like meraba meraba meraba I would just say meraba <laughs> so next time you hear it don't think about mm, where is that H we just ate it <laughs> okay that's it the second one is naba naba Naba. It's something like what's up? Hey, what's up? It's very, very casual. Uh, you wouldn't say that to you know your you know boss or your uh, elderly uh, relative or someone you don't know very well. Uh, and it's actually two words combined in one. The original one is ne haber, ne haber which means what news so it's like what news hey what what's the news you know what's up with you uh, it's the meaning is like that but instead of uh, saying ne haber we just swallow some words and we say naber hey naber and this is not just for face-to-face -face conversations. Sometimes if I call someone, I say, hey, Naber, instead of saying, if, you know, if he or she is my really close friend or really, really, uh, you know, my mom, my, you know, cousin, my husband, uh, I would say just, hey, Naber, nasılsın? It's, it's instead of merhaba. Or you can say merhaba, Naber, also okay. So, the third one is, it's a long word, Selamun Aleykum. <laughs> Could you get that? Actually, if you're from Arabic uh, speaking countries or from Israel, you would say it easily because this is, uh, this is from Arabic and since the Arabic and Hebrew is uh, language-wise very similar, uh, I think the uh, Hebrew word for this is uh, Shalom Aleichem, so it's the same word, Shalom Aleichem, Selamun Aleikum. So, uh, <laughs> let's say it slowly, Selamun Aleikum, Selamun Aleikum, and the English translation would be something like, May the peace be upon you, may the peace be upon you. Uh, it sounds a little bit epic, I know. Um, the way we use it, actually this is more like um, when you go to the villages uh, or when you go to a, a conservative uh, uh, you know, uh, place, right. you have to say it back uh, in reverse form, don't forget that. If someone says Selamun Aleikum to you, which means may the peace be upon you, you should say Aleikum Selam like it's it's I really like this one actually because someone is sending you their piece and it's like you are holding a mirror and reversing the words and you are saying may the peace be upon you thank you for sending me the piece and I'm sending it back so about the religious uh, background of it uh, Selam the word selam means peace. Actually, Islam, Islam, Islam, and the person who believes in Islam, which is Muslim in Turkish, are the same words. The, these words are coming from the same root, which is S L M, which means peace in Arabic, and shalom which means peace in Hebrew also the same. So that's why this has a little bit of uh, conservative religious uh, feeling behind it. Uh, it doesn't, for me, it, it, it's not uh, necessarily uh, a religious uh, saying. Um, 
I don't know if you like it. Some people don't like it. I like it. And if you like it, use it. If you don't like it, it would be really rude uh, when you hear it if you don't turn it back. If you don't say Aleikum Selam, that would be uh, kind of rude. You don't have to uh, say this by yourself. You can just say Merhaba. But if someone says Selamun Aleikum, you would say Aleikum Selam. And this gesture is generally how you use it. You put your generally right hand on your uh, heart and you say Selamun Aleikum and they say Aleikum Selam. So that's it. <laughs> the third one is actually, you know this one because it's Selam. <laughs> If the previous one is too complicated for you, then you can just use selam, which means peace. <laughs> just say selam, selam, selam, like peace. And you can uh, mix it with other words. Merhaba, selam. We can just use it together. Or selam, naber. It's like peace, what's up? We use it like that. This is more like uh, more modern, and we use it without the religious or conservative uh, context. And all the people, like everybody, uses it. Selam, selam, selam, selam. You can use it on the phone, like selam, selam, hey. <laughs> so don't forget to use selam. Okay, the next one is this is a very specific time. Uh, Hello, <laughs> it's good morning. <laughs> it's gün ay dün. Gün ay dün. Gün ay dün. Gün ay dün. Good morning. So, you know, you use this whenever you use good morning, of course, in the morning. Uh, just know this gün ay dün means that the day is bright. So it's actually two words. Gün means day. Aydın means bright. So you put them together and it makes gün aydın. It's like a, uh, all the um, greeting words in Turkish. It's like a, a good, uh, you are sending a good vibe. You are sending good wishes. Like may, be your, uh, may your day be Right, may uh, your day be blessed, or maybe in you know the peace uh, be upon you. It's like all oh, you are sending good wishes, and you are getting good wishes. It's very important to uh, send these good wishes to other people. Um, so next time, if you get up and or you are outside in the morning and you see someone, you say good night, them. <laughs> Okay, the next one is tu ay dun. <laughs> tu nai dun. Good afternoon. Tu nai dun. Uh, <laughs> this, is, uh, <laughs> this is a weird uh, word that we don't actually use a lot. And I, I, I don't use it actually, so you may be asking why you are using it, because we use this word as a, uh, like, as a joke. Be because tun, um, it, this, is um, this is like the previous word, gün aydın. Uh, tun, this one is tun plus aydın. It makes tun aydın. It means that may, the literal translation is this, may your roosting time Right, so <laughs> it's funny. I don't know why we say it, but maybe may your roosting time bright <laughs> because it's funny. We are not using it anymore, but uh, it's a classical joke of Turkish teachers. If you're at school and you're like when you're listening, you're getting a little bit sleepy and you put your head on the uh, desk, and for example, the teacher, teacher calls my name, he says Seda. And I'm like, what, what, what's going on? And the teacher says, Tunaydın Seda, meaning that you are sleeping and you just woke up. It's like Günaydın, like as if it's in the morning, but I'm sleeping and it's not in the morning and I'm not in my bed. So it's like Tunaydın, come on, don't sleep. 
So we use it in this context instead of saying Chunaiden, but it's okay if you say Chunaiden. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. If you say Chunaiden, it would be proper, but it would be a little bit weird. So don't say it <laughs> or say it, I don't know. Anyway, the other one is Iye Aksham Lar. Iye Aksham Lar. It's good evening. İyi akşamlar. So, iyi means good. Akşamlar means evenings. It's in uh, plural form. So, you say this obviously in the, you know, evening uh, time. Uh, you use it not the, you know, uh, you wouldn't say this if someone is going to bed. You would use it, you know, uh, if you are you know at work and you are going home and you would call your co uh, colleagues and you would say hey iyi akşamlar see you tomorrow yarın görüşürüz so iyi akşamlar and this is a uh, format you can use iyi akşamlar or iyi the next one is günler it's like good Days. İyi günler. İyi günler. Good days. You can say this in the morning, in the afternoon, till it, till it's dark. You can say iyi günler. After it's dark, you would say iyi akşamlar. So good days and good evenings. And if you are going to sleep, if someone is going to sleep. You would say iyi geceler. İyi geceler. Good nights. İyi geceler. Again, it's nights. Geceler. It's plural in Turkish. So let's repeat it. It's iyi günler. Good days. İyi akşamlar. Good evenings and e gejeler. Good nights. <laughs> so you can uh, use it, for example, uh, for a good. You want to say like someone is going to holiday, and you would say good holidays. That's the literal translation. In Turkish, you would say e again good tatilash. İyi tatiller. Good holidays. İyi tatiller. So uh, that's how you uh, say your uh, greetings or goodbyes. And a little bit more old school or conservative way to say these things uh, is to use another word. Instead of iyi, good, you would use Hayır l. Hayır l. Hayır means like good deeds. Hayır l means blessed with good deeds. It it has a, a religious con, um, feeling in it. So it I wouldn't say religious, but like with good intention. In Turkish. Um, some words have more, con when I say conservative, it, it's not a, um, um, it's hard to explain, but it's uh, more like a, you know, more spiritual. Let me, yeah, that's a better word. It's more spiritual. So when I say, Hayırlı günler, I wish you a, a from my heart, Hayırlı, like blessed days. Let's say, Hayırlı günler. Ha yer le gün lash blessed days. So this higher, <laughs> you may know this word. Higher, higher means two things. One is no, no, and the other is higher, like good deed. So in this case, higher le günler means good, blessed. Days, not no days. <laughs> okay? So keep it in mind.
keep in mind. And as iyi günler or iyi geceler, iyi tatiller, you can use hayırlı with other nouns as well. Let's see, hayırlı geceler. It's like hayırlı geceler. Hayırlı geceler. Blessed nights. Or hayırlı akşamlar. Hayırlı akşamlar. Like blessed. <laughs> blessed nights. And I think that's it for now. And before I go, let me give you some uh, gesture-wise uh, tips uh, about how Turkish people greet each other. Uh, if we know someone very well, we kiss them. <laughs> yeah, we kiss them on both cheeks. I can. I wouldn't say kiss. Like if this uh, were a person, like this is a head, I would. We make the uh, kissing sound, and we are like. Like we touch our cheeks uh, to each other and while we are doing it we can pat on the back or we can hug uh, but not two, uh, not one, not three, it's just two kisses on the cheek and be careful about this if you don't know each other very well you may just shake hands you know if it's a, a business meeting and they would say hey hey and you wouldn't kiss, you would just shake hands. This is a, you know, uh, if like with close friends or family or if your close friend is introducing a, another close friend, you know, the environment is really friendly and the yeah, you may kiss the person. And so be careful about the handshake. Uh, some religious or conservative people may not like it. If you're a man and shaking another man's uh, hand, it's okay. If you're a woman and shake, shaking, you are shaking another woman's uh, hand, it's again okay. But if they don't like it, uh, they would uh, pull their hand back and don't be offended by it. It's just uh, their way of uh, conserving themselves, I think. So if you don't know the person, if you know, it's a total stranger and you don't know how they are, how they live, you would just uh, wait for a second before, after you say your hellos and your greetings, you would wait a second and you can watch if they are, you know, uh, showing their hand. If they are, if it's a woman, if you're a man and if it's a woman in front of you and she is, you know, uh, getting ready to shake your hand, it's okay then you can shake it or vice versa. If you're a man, uh, if you're a woman and that's a man in front of you, like if he's uh, showing his hand, then it's okay, you can shake it. If not, you know, don't push it, don't offend any people, just respect and you can just do this. Always, it's okay. Put your right hand on your uh, heart and you can say, Merhaba or Selamun Aleyküm or just Selam, then it's okay, then you don't offend anyone. So, uh, and <laughs> one more thing, actually this is very new, I'm not sure about the context, but uh, some uh, young men and male teenagers, uh, they do this, they uh, shake their head on each other. I, it's, I'm alone here so I can't show it, but they, uh, when they're together it's like uh, kissing cheeks, but they don't kiss, they just hit their foreheads like that. It's, I don't know why they do it, but I've never seen a woman doing it, it's just a man. Uh, <laughs> so if you see something like that, don't be surprised. I think that's it with all the gestures I can remember right now. So I hope you like this lesson. If you have any questions, please leave them below and you can ask anything. I will see you next time. Bye! Good shoes! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Do you feel like you don't speak enough of your target language? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. 
To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to use when talking with friends. After watching this video, you'll be able to have a casual conversation with a friend, and to say something is super. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Of şu arabaya bak. Oha, acayip havalı. Once more with the English translation. Of şu arabaya bak. Hey, look at that car. Oha, acayip havalı. Wow, that's super cool. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, Hey, look at that car. That's... Of şu arabaya bak. Listen to it again. Of şu arabaya bak. Of şu arabaya bak. This Turkish sentence literally translates as, Wow, that at car look. But it means, hey, look at that car. Now, how do you respond to this? First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, wow. That's, oha, oha. Then, you'll need to learn how to say, that's super adjective. The pattern is, ajayip, adjective. This Turkish sentence literally translates as, super adjective but it means that's super adjective. For example, that's super cool. Acayip havalı. Acayip havalı. Here are a few more words you can use with the same pattern to talk about something. Cool. Havalı. Havalı. Cool. Havalı. Beautiful. Güzel. Güzel. Beautiful. Güzel. New. Yeni. Yeni. New. Yeni. Nice. E. E. Nice. E. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Of şu arabaya bak. Acayip güzel. Hey, look at that car. Of şu arabaya bak. That's super beautiful. Acayip güzel. Of şu arabaya bak. Acayip yeni. Hey, look at that car. Of şu arabaya bak. That's super new. Acayip yeni. Of şu arabaya bak. Acayip iyi. Hey, look at that car. Of şu arabaya bak. That's super nice. Acayip iyi. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, Hey, look at that car. Of şu arabaya bak. Imagine you want to say something is super beautiful. Do you remember how to say beautiful? Güzel. Güzel. Say, that's super beautiful. Acayip güzel. Now respond using beautiful. 
Of şu arabaya bak. Acayip güzel. Now imagine you want to say something is super new. Do you remember how to say new? Yeni. Yeni. Say, that's super new. Acayip yeni. Now respond using new. Of şu arabaya bak. Acayip yeni. Now imagine you want to say something is super nice. Do you remember how to say nice? E. E. Say that's super nice. Acayip e. Now respond using nice. Of şu arabaya bak. Acayip iyi. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use to talk with friends. You're now able to have a casual conversation like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell me and your fellow learners what you think is super cool. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our space repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection, where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Turkish ebook before it's gone.